So in 3.1, we're going to start looking what's called the numeration system. And for our system, we are base 10. That means we have 10 single digits. We have the digits 0 through 9. So that is 10 digits. You can see those on your phone or your calculator. You can count out those single spaces. That's how many symbols we have to represent numbers. All numbers in the world are made up with those 10 symbols. We could just keep reusing them. So if we want to have um, you know, a larger number, we can put a 1 and a 2 together and call it a 12. We call that a two-digit number because it uses two symbols. And so because we need more, we have more than 10 numbers, but we only have 10 digits, we have place value. So place value assigns a value to a digit depending on its placement. I'll write that up. So it assigns a value to a digit depending on its placement. So for instance, this eight right here doesn't stand for eight. We say it really stands for 80 because that number ends in an 85. So if we were thinking about money, that would be $80 and five more dollars to make 85 total dollars. So we have names for these place values. This five is in what we call the ones place or the units place. Now I told you we were a base 10 system. That's because we have 10 single digits. So that's where we get this next one. We call this the tens place. Then we have, oops, the six is in the hundreds place. Then we have the thousands place. And then we would have the ten thousands place. And this keeps going. We have hundred thousand, then million, um, then 10 million, then 100 million, then billion. We keep growing and growing and growing. And you can always look up, and if you just look up the place value chart, uh, you can get you know, tons and tons of digits all the way out. So we would say that this number is 97,685 is how I would read that number. Now this is called our um, standard form or base 10, the way I have written here. We could also write it out in expanded form. So we could say this is 90,000 plus 7,000 plus 600 plus 80 plus five. So this is an expanded form. We can see the place value for each one of those. So we know it's not just a nine, it's a 90,000. So we can visually see that nine stands for a whole bunch more than just nine. Um, there's a big difference between nine and 90,000. We also can use exponents in this expanded form. Right now, we, don't we can leave our answer the, exactly the way I have written on this first line. As we get through the semester, we're going to get to some decimal places where the expanded form, we are going to have to use the exponents. So we'll kind of gradually build on what we've got going on now. I'm going to start with this 8, the 80. So that's 8, and I said it was the tens place. So I could write 80 as 8 times 10. And I'm just going to put a 1 in the exponent. I could write that 600 as 6 times 10 squared. 10 squared is the same thing as that 100 right there. You can even see those two zeros we've got going on there. That 10 squared, the 2 up there, telling me that I'm in two, play, two zeros over. I'm in the hundreds place. 10 cubed is 1,000. So that 7,000 could be 7 times 10 cubed. And then I could have 9 times 10 to the 4th. So you can see these place values are increasing by 1. Every time we go to a place value, those exponents increase by 1. You might be asking yourself, what about the 5? Remember, we looked at this a while ago, that the 1's place, or 1, can be written as anything to the 0 power. 1 could also be written as 5 to the 0 or 12 to the 0. So we can see we start with zero in the ones place, 
then one, two, three, four to get all the way up to the 10,000 spot. So why don't you pause the video and see if you can write what I gave us out in, in um, expanded form, if you can write it in base 10, this is our regular standard notation, um, so kind of backwards from what we had. Your answer should look like this stuff up here, whoops, in the green highlight up there. So take a second, pause, and see if you can do that. All right, let's see how we did. So the four is gonna be in the ones place. There's no 10 to the first, there's no 10 squared, but there is a thousand spot, 10 cubed. There's no 10 to the fourth, but there is a 10 to the fifth. So I get 506,004.